Hey guys, Jonathan here. How's it going? Uh, it's about oh, a little after 5 o'clock in the morning here, Central Standard Time here in Chicago. I uh, just got up. Uh, got a big interview today. Hopefully I'll get a new job. And uh, Anyways, um, my mom was watching some of my videos, so uh, she watched my mating videos and she asked me which one's male, which one's female. So uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, and almost my subscribers, you guys know the difference. But uh, anyways, I have my three G Roseas here. And the reason why I have these three is because I have them at different stages. Uh, one ranging from a sling kind of juvenile to a uh, mature female and a mature male. So let me go ahead and uh, get these set up for you here. And one of the things about tarantulas, one of the things that really intrigues me is that when you have different species, um, you have, uh, number one big thing is the different coloration of, between the male and the female. So, right here is my mature female, and uh, let's see what kind of mood she's in, because G. roseas can be moody. And as you can see right there, she just attacked my tongues. So I am not going to handle her, but I will try to get as much detail as I possibly can. If you notice, the abdomen is the size of it, and uh, its relation to the carapace. This is the abdomen. This area right here is known as the carapace and the eyes are located right towards the tip of the tweezers there and you have the legs and then the two legs that are in the front are known as the pedipalps and that's mostly the function of that is to help them with the handling of their food um, but back to the coloration uh, get some better lighting on her there we go um, you can notice the kind of pinkish metallic color, a shiny metallic pink color. Um, with the males, it'll be more predominant, and you'll see that here in a minute. And um, one thing I would advise is that if you're not sure, uh, just go on Google. But what I would recommend is if you're going on Google because it has so many search results and so many non-related pictures that it'll show up in the image search, is make sure you use the scientific name. So if you want to look up a rose hair, don't just type in rose hair. I would go with Gramostola rosea, and then I would put in capital letters, male or female. And uh, you should pull up some images. And then you just kind of a process of elimination, kind of weed out the useless pictures, but you just look at the ones that say female. And then you look at a couple of them. I'd say four or five of them. You look at the coloration, and... That should give you a good idea as to what color the male or the female is. As a subadult or adult or whatever. Um, I'll show you here in a minute why doing the color reference on Google doesn't really work with the sling as well. Because uh, it can be misleading. So, uh, one thing about tarantulas is that the female will usually always, every time, be bigger than the male. So. Uh, one last thing I want you to notice is the front legs. Front leg here and the front leg here. Uh, a smooth, uh, no tibial hooks, tribal hooks. So as I switch now, just give me a minute. to get my mature male and that was Daisy my mature female and this is Dillinger my mature male these are the two that I made it together all right now right away you'll notice that on the carapace of the mature male you can definitely see a huge color differ difference uh, again this is what really intrigues me about most tarantulas uh, the top 20 or 50 tarantulas on my wish list, um, including the ones I already have, 
deal mostly with the ones that uh, their behavior and their coloration and you can see that my mature male here Dillinger has a beautiful pink metallic carapace uh, what I'd like to also show you is the abdomen in relation to the carapace Let's see if I can there we go you can see that the abdomen compared to the carapace is a little bit smaller than what we had with the ratio of the female. Now if I can get a good shot of this here I want to show you the tibial hooks and this is a dead giveaway to a male because only the males have these and this is for when the male goes up underneath the female for mating purposes Okay, you see right, hold it right, great Dillinger, good boy. Right at the tip there, you see that little hook on the leg here? That's the tibial hook. That is what locks up underneath the legs of the female when mating. Another good thing, if he'll be a good boy, you see the pedipalps right here. These two little short, short leg look, being like type things. If you look, they have little bulbs at the end. Now this is for the mature male, if I can get a good See the little black bulb? Uh, at the end of this pedipalp here. Um, it looks like a little boxing glove. That's how, again, you can tell that it's a male. So, a uh, couple of big things to review here when you're looking at male versus female. One, look at the abdomen. You see how the abdomen on the male here is a little bit more elongated. It's not so round or ovalish. Um, the most times it'll be the difference in the color of the carapace. Sometimes it'll be either more profound, more predominant, or it could be uh, a little bit duller. It really depends on the species. Uh, like with uh, one of my favorite species, the P. cancerides, or Mcnamus cancerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. The males have more of a purple uh, metallic color to them, whereas the females are just a little bit more brown, hence the name Haitian brown. Um, Let's see if I can think of one species here right off the top of my head that I would say, oh, the cobalt blue, the H. lividium. Uh, a lot of people love that tarantula, but uh, the female is the one that is the blue color. The male is more of a grayish color. So uh, that's my male, and we'll go to the sling. So to recap, the tibial hooks, the pedipalps, and the smaller abdomen are good signs that it's the male. The tibial hooks are a dead giveaway. Those guarantee you you have a male. And again, this is not without sexting the molt, which that's a different subject, which I will get into as soon as I can get a fresh molt from either of my mature tarantulas or my juveniles that I can get a good picture of. Now, here is a sling or a juvenile uh, Gramostola rosea. Now at this stage it will not have the tibial hooks, uh, the pedipalps won't be a good indicator, and the size of the abdomen versus the carapace is not always a good indicator as well due to the fact that um, when you have slings, juveniles, uh, they're just like babies, like us. We eat more when we're younger, and as we get older we don't eat as much uh, as our typical nature goes. So these guys will have really fat abdomens because of eating uh, two to three times a week whereas your mature species will not eat as much. You can feed them once a week, once a month. Uh, it all depends on your species. Now this one I will handle. This is Acura. She was being a little bit skittish right now. But, let me just... I know. I want to get a... Notice the color of the carapace. You can't really tell whether it's a dull color or a bright color. And uh, it's going to go into hiding, which I'll let it do. But, um, as you can see with the sling, uh, the coloration is hard to differentiate. 
the size of the abdomen is not a good indicator. So most times when you have a juvenile like this, when it molts again, uh, I will sex it if I can, if I get a good molt. And uh, I'll go into, I'll make another video that kind of goes a little bit further into detail about that, um, where I'll use some picture aids. Oh, now you want to come be friendly. All right. Thank you, sweetie. Oh. Okay, so um, as you can see, the carapace, not a whole lot of coloration as far as whether it's uh, predominant or if it's a more dull color. So anyways, that's just a quick kind of how to sex your tarantula visually. Uh, and uh, again, I'll make another video that goes into more depth about how to sex the molt of your tarantula. So hope you guys enjoy. I hope it was informative. And uh, guys, take care. You keep watching and I'll keep posting. Thanks for watching, guys.